cases are on the rise. News 5's Isani Caetano reports. The Chikibul National Park, located in the Cayo District, is virtually dotted along the western border by 24 Guatemalan villages. With approximately 30,000 inhabitants populating a stretch of frontier communities, human pressure in the area is tremendous. Despite maintaining law enforcement presence in the dense wilderness, shate extraction, gold panning, poaching, illegal logging and deforestation are all perennial issues. We've actually been doing you know, a lot of joint patrols. Um, to address illegal, uh, illegal milpas in the area of South Sebara. South Sebara, we had it on the news for several times. It's an area that was really hot. And we actually, through the year 2014 and 2015, we've been addressing, you know, really working hard in that area with the assistance of the Belize Defense Force and the Special Patrol Unit of the police. In 2015, Belize has lost an estimated half a million U.S. dollars in illegally harvested chate. While that figure is down from 2012, doing away with the unlawful practice altogether still proves to be quite challenging. Coupled with that is the lasting impact of illegal logging. Notwithstanding a decrease, the aggregate felling of mahogany and cedar trees amounting to 45,567 hectares of land being cleared between 2010 and 2015 has cost us 30 million U.S. dollars. To make matters worse, the unwanted dwellers of the Chikibul are constantly on the move. Milpa farmers have moved from the area of South Sebara. Now they have moved to an area we call in Sapote, the Sapote's area. And, you know, we could see now they have moved north, sort of like, you know, showing some of the dynamics of how, how the farmers, um, they also monitor our, our activities. Equally on the rise is game hunting. Poachers have been known to track various species of exotic and wild birds, including scarlet macaws and curassows for commercial purpose. When people are engaged in shot extraction, illegal um, logging, gold panning and all other activities, they also do hunting. Most of this hunting is for them to survive during their stay in the forest. But then we have also records that some people will come in, into the Chikibul forest to do illegal hunting for a commercial purpose. Because if I am a single individual working in the Chikibul cutting shate, there is no need for me to shoot this amount of birds. Okay? If I know I could only eat one in maybe over three days. Okay? So this indicates to us that people are coming to hunt for um, for commercial purposes as well. And when you have that, then your species that are being targeted is of concern as well. No? Gold panning over the past few years continues to be a problem that, for the most part, goes seemingly unabated. The last reported arrest was a little over a month ago when a pair of men from La Esmeralda Peten was caught panning for the precious metal in the area of Sabo Grande Creek. So they have been concentrating their activities in this particular area. And so the distance is about 12 kilometers straight line, very difficult terrain to, to get to this portion. So, and all the black little uh, streams uh, are areas where the gold panners have been conducting sampling. No? They are prospecting. They will go and dig a little bit to see if they have a lot of gold. If they don't find gold, then they don't come and do their gold panning there. According to Rafael Manzanero, Executive Director of FCD, access to the vast expanse is difficult. Anybody who has been to Chiquibol, even though as you are driving from San Ignacio to San Antonio, it's really a terrible road. And as you go farther in, it certainly becomes even much more you know, complicated. Uh, we have two tractors at FCD that helps in terms of mobilizing the people in, but those are breaking almost every month. So either we have to record to only hiking alone or we are wait for the helicopters to arrive. But the point is that the road access is highly important for us really to reach to those points. To effectively combat harmful activities occurring within the Chikibul forest, FCD rangers attest that intruders are indeed formidable and strategic. Therefore, constant patrols are necessary even when agricultural fields seem to have been deserted. Likewise, a binational effort between Belize and Guatemala needs to be sustained in order to implement the Memorandum of Understanding pertaining to environmental protection. 
Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.